Jackie here. We are today at the Green School. You guys, well some of you know I have three kiddos at the Green School and I always get asked what's it like at the Green School. And I want to tell you what it's like at the Green School. And I want to speak to other parents here who are going to tell you what they love about the Green School and maybe what doesn't work for them. So let's go see if we can find some parents and see if we can have a chat and see what they love and what they don't like about the Green School. Hey guys, so I found someone else, an amazing parent called Luke. Aren't you amazing? I'm amazing. He's freaking amazing. So that's why we're going to ask him what he thinks, loves and not just likes, but maybe doesn't like as much about the Green School. What do you love about the Green School? I love, I've been here four years. I really love, I love the, I love the folks that I've met here. They've been super, super interesting. Um, I love that the kids really love to go to school. And I love that there's no homework, you know, because then they come home and I speak to all my friends in normal schools and they spend two hours doing homework. And I think they'd rather play and, you know, surf and, you know, and do fun stuff. What do you not like? Um, what do the kids not like or? There's not a lot not to like. I came from UWC in Singapore, which is a really big school and pretty cool too, and eco and everything. Um, it's haphazard, right? I saw a snake. Um, it's wobbly and you can fall down. You sometimes get a bunch of burning rubbish that wafts over at the school. You have dogs running through the school. Um, I, in my co-working space where I am now, there's no air conditioning and you get bitten by ants and mosquitoes. Um, but you know, by and large, it's pretty good. parent and actually the best parent that we could find because Carol Deriva actually heads up the bridge and so yeah. it's perfect that we found her and we're going to ask her some questions about what she loves and maybe not hates but dislikes about the green school. So Carol thanks for chatting so can you tell us um, what do you love about the green school? I think I mean I, I like a lot of things here but I think that the fact that my kids are being nurtured to uh, find their passion uh, I think that the support that they receive in kind of growing social emotionally and that the fact that they um, love to come to school I found that quite interesting that they like to come to school and I also really like the community of parents like the community like that happens here it's pretty magical it, I think that the educational experience here it doesn't affect only the kids but also the parents I was before working at the school, I was parent only as well, and I can say that my parent style has changed a lot after coming here, and I like that the ability for me to grow with them. And what is what do you not like? What do you? And I'm not going to say just like, but what do you not love? Or what doesn't work for you? Is there anything? Yeah, I mean, there are things that, that, that I don't like here. I wish sometimes that we were in a place that I was not sweating the whole time, that <laughs> didn't have as many mosquitoes. Um, I think that what I don't like, actually, is the fact that um, there is too much change in terms of people coming and going. It's beautiful to have the influx of people coming and going, but I feel that, you know, my kids have missed out a little bit these kind of long-term friendships throughout their life. Uh, because people were just staying here one, two years and go, you know. So, although I like to be meeting new people all the time, I also feel that it's quite challenging, and for me as well, because every year, like, I cry that I miss, that I'm gonna not be together with those people again, you know. And you build connections, and then you like get heartbroken. So I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> What do you love about the Green School? I love so much about the Green School, but mostly I love the incredible jungle campus that my children get to live in all day. They're literally in among bamboo forests and everything that goes with that, which can be snakes, but they love it. 
and, and now when they walk through the natural environment, they're lifting up leaves, they're pointing out birds, they are finding geckos, and they're teaching me things about the jungle. That's probably my favorite. What do you not love? I, I don't like that that jungle swallows shoes at an incredible rate. And sometimes it's a little bit disorganized, even for my disorganized self. Sometimes it can feel totally chaotic. But after a year being here, I'm also learning to love that chaos and adapt to it. So, Yasmin, what do you love about the Green School? Oof, there's a long list. Um, to start, I love that it's completely outdoors. I love that the kids spend most of their days in nature and not stuck between four walls. I love that the, ch the children are very close to their teachers. They feel safe to share what's going on in their life at home, to share the struggles on their days at school, and to speak about their emotions on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I love that the curriculum is completely different than what we find elsewhere, that it's real integrated and uh, applied learning. So what they learn they understand how to use outside of the school setting. Um, I mean, the, the list can go on. <laughs> I love the community. I love how, I love how every parent um, is involved. Oh, actually, that's mostly what I like the most. I love that Green School gives us the opportunity as parents to be involved in our children's education. Um, Green School is not a school where you just drop your kid in the morning and then pick him up in the, in the afternoon and just expect him to magically be educated. It's, it's really a school for those families who are interested in being a part of their children's education, having a say and participating, you know, being holding a workshop or um, if a child has a very specific uh, passion, you know, for the parent to bring input uh, into that. So that's, I think, a very big thing because it really shows how, how much they care about the children and how much flexibility they give us as parents and the children. So that, that's fantastic, I believe. Amazing. What do you not like? What do I not like? I don't like the mosquitoes. <laughs> None <laughs> of us do. <laughs> I don't like the mosquitoes. Um, there's plenty of them. Um, but I'm sure soon we'll find a way <laughs> to potentially reduce the population of mosquitoes on campus. Um, and I would say there, there are very little that I don't like. I think because the school is very dedicated in fixing um, you know what people don't like if it's a real issue however what I'd say is the fact that a lot of the kids come very often for a year or, or six months I mean six months not anymore but they come for a year and then they leave and so they take with them that great experience back home back into you know their families their community their school um, but for our kids that stay here um, you know it's a sense of loss because they build this connection um, emotionally they bond with you know other kids and then these kids just leave so and same for us parents we bond with some parents and then they leave and yes we can always see them and travel and it's nice for our children to have friends all over the world again because in the end of the day this is an international school but that's something that I dislike about it. So now we've chatted to a few people, I wanted to give you my opinion on what I think about the Green School. So, what do I absolutely love about the Green School? Do you know what? The Green School does a number of things freaking amazing. I feel like if anyone has a tattoo of Green School, it would be me because I'm highly quite passionate about this school and you know we're going into our third school year now. So what do I love about the Green School? Well, the easiest thing to say is the teachers. 
I think the teachers at Green School are phenomenal. They are like nothing you would have had at probably any school that you're at now or any school you think. They're genuinely passionate, they genuinely seem to like your children and they have lots of energy for them, they do fun things with them. I think what they do, since coming to the Green School, people say to me a lot, oh your kids talk so well to adults and when I ask my kids about that, I think it comes from, because they say because we're allowed to talk to our teachers, we can have an open conversation with our teachers, we can say actually we don't really agree with you on that and we don't really like that and then the teacher will be like okay so you know and I've heard the teacher say okay well let's explore why do you not like that and what do you want to well how can we change that or how can we explore that a bit more so I think the green school teachers are phenomenal even I freaking love the green school teachers like honestly I would say 90% of the teachers at green school are phenomenal there are a few Karens now, if you don't know what a Karen is, you need to Google that. What is a Karen? <laughs> and so there's a couple of Karens at Green School, not naming any names, but there are a few. So maybe everybody needs a Karen in their life. Maybe. Even Green School needs a Karen. So I think the teachers are unbelievable. Um, what else can I say about them that will make you understand? I feel like with the... The teachers here hear your kids, your kids feel like they have a voice. And I think that's so different is, you know, even my little kids feel like they can talk to their teachers if there's an issue. And I think I certainly never had that at school and I'm sure you guys and maybe your kids don't because there's that hierarchy and I don't feel you have that. And I guess that's debatable, right? Some people could say, oh, but you need that hierarchy for them to demand respect. But I completely disagree with that because I've seen that here. And the kids actually feel like they can have an open conversation with them and that their opinion matters. And I think that as a parent, that's what we want. We want our kids to know that to us or to their teachers that their opinion matters. And they don't have to follow the mold and be like, yes, that is what you have to say. But you know, you're allowed your opinion and your opinion means something and it's valued. So I think I can't say enough. And you know, I've been at quite a few schools, been at four schools, Australia, New Zealand, and yeah, in Bali, and as you know, first day of school the other day, and my daughter is at 5 a.m., she's like, mummy, can we get up, mummy, mummy, I'm so excited for school, can we get up, mummy, and I'm like, no, 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 it's not time yet, honey, and I think that that says something about the green school, because where else could you go, and you your child has that, that they can actually be so excited to go to school that they wake up at 5 a.m. I mean, I used to, in New Zealand, I'd be dragging my kids out of the thing. I'm like, it's 8.30, we had to leave in five minutes, <laughs> get out of here. And the fact that they're up at 5 a.m., I mean, even 5 a.m. in Bali, you don't want to be up at. So the fact that they're up at 5 a.m. and they're so excited to come to school. And no one's really, even my oldest, you know, Mila, who's 13, is like, She's happy to go to school. She can't wait to get there and she looks forward to her day. And I don't think many of us have that experience. Okay guys, so I've talked about the teachers at Green School and then I guess you want to know all about the learning too. And I think what the Green School does really well is it embraces your kids' passion. So they kind of find your kids' passion. Like my son did a project called Footprints and this is done in grade five and then in grade eight they do a project called Quest and he had to explore something that he wanted to um he was passionate about and they're also i guess that you know the school's very environmental it's sustainable so he looked at all the things so he ended up doing this this amazing project where he recycled skateboards he sanded them all down and he got them all prepared and he did that at the i hub at the school which is like the woodwork kind of um I feel like it's like the workshop. It's like the workshop of Green School, so it's called the iHub. And he went there and then he got a local street artist in Bali to paint 12 environmentalists on them. So 12 environmentalists that he had chosen that he was really passionate about. And the local artist painted it. 
and then he sold them and the proceeds went back to the artist into a local orphanage that I help support here and we were able to buy them bunk beds and we've still got a few skateboards to sell so we're hoping to get them a big table and some chairs. So I think, you know, he loved that project and it went for a whole term and he was able to be out at school meeting with, out of school meeting with the local artists and then in the iHub, you know, sanding his skateboards. So I think what the Green School did there that I've never seen at any other school is they brought out a real passion in him, which is obviously skateboarding, and then he was able to do something with it. So he wasn't just going skateboarding, he was able to actually do something with it make money for um, a charity and help support a local artist and he learned so much along that project so I feel like that is something that project in particular is something that was really passionate and I know you know like I've seen around school like the grade three last year they had um, wanted to do a new bunny cage for the rabbits of green school so they had this whole project around rebuilding the bunny cage so I feel like the project based learning at green school is phenomenal and what you would never see and I've never seen at any other school and to I think for kids to be able to explore at such a young age what they're passionate about and actually dolge down into it and actually think that it could become a job later in life so yeah I like skateboarding or I like to do this but Oh, well, how can I make it into something? And that's what the project did really well. So I think what would like when we talk about that, you think about, okay, all that integrated learning and you think about, so during, what we noticed is during when we watched Kingston do that project is, okay, so he had to again engage with adults. He had to engage them in a business sense. Um, he had to think about numbers because, you know, he had to do all that maths and because he had to think about, okay, if I, how much do I sell the boards for? How much profit, not profit, but how much do I get for the chari uh, the local orphanage? How much do I get towards the local artist? And so he had to come up with, okay, well, and then how much of his time was used too. He, for this project, of course, because it was a project, it wasn't like he made profit, but he understood the value of making profit. So, okay, well, he spent this much time sanding the boards and getting the boards all ready for the local street artist. So I think when we talk about um, your learning in that project, what he learned in terms of maths and English and um, communication skills and all those things, um, I don't think sitting in a classroom you could necessarily, he could have ever engaged and got so much out of it. And I think the other thing that you know I love is the amount of choice and I guess that you get to pursue your passion at Green School and that is, um, you know, we have something called Jalan Jalan which is on a Wednesday and the children get to choose something and sometimes they do free diving, sometimes they do surf life saving, sometimes they do, you know, my daughter wanted to do the school production so she did that with her new Jalan Jalan Jay. So I think the fact that they have these options to and they have choices that where they can um, they have this wide range of choice where they can do stuff whether it be in the school or externally outside the school and you know like another thing so I of course I've got three kids and as anyone that's got more than one kid you know that all your kids are so different right so I had you know my two girls came here they loved it got into it straight away I feel like my grade you know, my daughter, youngest when she came was grade one, so you know, she got to play in the mud and it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I mean, I want to play in the mud, so she loved green school. And then my oldest loved it too because it worked for her. She's dyslexic and it really, she really just um, came, she excelled at such a high level so fast when she came to green school. So it kind of just changed how she. Um, she saw school and she really developed. So, but my boy, of course, who's very different and loves structure, he was the one, he, for six months when he came, he was, I want to go home, I want to go home, I hate you for bringing me here. <laughs> it was actually a horrible time. Um, and he was the one who really took a long time to do it and hates public speaking, hates anything to do with he's in the limelight, you know. He would never, he, You'll probably never see him, or maybe you've seen him once on YouTube with me, but yeah, he's just not that type of kid. So for him to kind of get here, and for this all to be so foreign, and he would say to me, he would honestly say to me in the beginning, I want walls. And I was like, no one wants walls. <laughs> 
So it took him a long time to get settled here. And then after that six months, we kind of hit a stage where everything turned for him. And he started to really um, see, uh, we started to see the benefit. And I'm so glad I stuck it out. I think if you do come to green school and your kid's not loving it, make sure you do stick it out. Because in that six months, I definitely had thought of changing him. And other people were saying to me, oh, you know, maybe you should change schools with him. And to see after that six months how he developed. And you know, this is a kid that hates all those things that I said. And for that project, he stood up in front of his peers and parents and actually spoke confidently, didn't come across as nervous, even though Mama knew he was nervous. Um, and he was able to do that. And that would have been something. And certainly when he got here in the first six months, you could not have got him to even stand up in front of class and say, hi, my name's Kingston. I mean, you would have, he would have been, that would have been mortified. He would have asked, I need a day off school tomorrow, you know, I can't do that, I don't want to do that. And I think that just shows how his development, and I think that comes back, of course, to the teachers again, but that engaging also with adults and him becoming more comfortable with having conversations and knowing that he is actually valued and he has an opinion and it means something to all of us. You know, I have so many people that also come up to me, and I know this sounds silly, like you'll be like, whatever, but truly, I have parents that, um, from other schools that come up to me that will say, you can always tell a green school kid, and I'm always like, I was always fascinated with that, like, sometimes, when, when I first got here, I was like, oh, you can tell a green school kid, my kid wasn't really a green school kid at that stage, so I was like, oh, okay. And now, it's funny, when people say, oh, you always can tell a green school kid, and I'm always like, why? And they're like, because they know how to talk to adults. They look them in the eye and they can have a conversation with adults. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. They can. They can actually, like, talk to. And I think that's that, that fear, that whole, you know, they can talk to their teachers. I, I go back to that, but I think that that's where that comes from. So something that super impressed me, which I think is definitely a stand-up for green school, is last year in grade, my son was in grade five, and he the class list came out and at the end of the school year they do like a lot of kids do you know you had to put down your three friends that you wanted to be in the classroom with next year now take into account that a lot of green school classes only have one class so some have two that's kind of where you have max as you get two classes but some have one so your kids are in the same class but his grade had two classes and so he'd put down his friends he started the week of school and he wasn't in with any of his friends that he'd put down. And, you know, as a parent, you're like, my child is with no one. Oh my God, you know, I can't have this. And when he told me, I was angry. I was like, I'm gonna email the bloody school and, you know, I had to tell them that I'm not impressed. And he said to me on the phone, because I remember I was at dance with my daughter, and he goes, it's all right, mum. I'm, I'm gonna uh, talk to them and um, see. And I was like, okay. You know, I was like, this is weird, but okay. So he goes to school and then he comes home and I was like, that's fine, he said, yeah, I talked to them and I'm getting changed classes. And I was like, okay, amazing. And they changed his class and he got put in with his friends. Now what amazed me about that is I have never ever been at a school. When the class list come out, they're like, this is final, it is not negotiable, you do not get to move your kids at any other school, right? And the fact that I didn't have to step in, you know, I put on my parent hand and was all, oh, my poor baby's not without with his friends. And you know, thought I was going to have to email. And then he was the one that said, no, you know, you don't need to, I'm going to deal with it. And what I loved about that was, and I did say a big thank you to the teacher at the time, because the fact again that my kid understood that they had an opinion, they weren't comfortable with what had happened, they didn't think it was fear because other kids had got put with their friends, and that he was able to voice his concerns to his teacher, he was comfortable to do that, because who wants to talk to their teacher, and that they would actually listen and change him. I mean, for me, it was like, it was honestly mind-blowing. I was like, and I didn't have to step in at all, and, you know, any other school, you would have had to be, and I've got to send an email, and you knew it probably would have, even as a parent, fallen on deaf ears, they would have been like, whatever. So for him to be able to have that, I think that was a massive boost in his confidence that he actually, he was heard, and his opinion mattered because it got changed. Big thumbs up. <laughs> I'm excited to talk about this because one of the most amazing things at Green School is they have the bridge. I know, see, it's all about us parents. It's nothing about the children at all. It's all about us. They have the bridge, and the bridge is, um, 
oh my god what is the bridge i feel like it's a parents school pretty much it's really a it's a parents group it's not there to talk anything of, they don't help you at all with anything to do with your child at school they are purely there to they provide workshops they have like writers clubs they have actually we want to start a chit chat club which i think is a good idea um they have yeah they do amazing workshops some of them are offered for free some of them you have to pay a small amount but i've done so many workshops they do yoga they do wild fitness so they have all these options for us parents so you know my son said to me this morning you come to the green school more than i do <laughs> and he's probably right because i love to be involved in the bridge you get to meet other families other parents and you get to learn all these amazing things i've done like fermentation courses through there. I've done yoga, I've done breath work, I've done all these options of courses and I don't think I've done one where I've had to pay for actually, I'm trying to think, I don't think I have. So yeah, the bridge is a big thumbs up. I'm going to put some info here, um, some photos and um, their website and you can have a look at the bridge. Okay, so now we're going to the get up to the what do we not love about the green school. And I know, and I gotta be super honest with you guys because I want it to be really real and really, um, so you have a real clear idea on what it's like, of what it's like here and what maybe the frustrations and maybe thing. I really should have a green school tattoo so I don't have a lot, but do you know what I'd say is, I see this a bit. So if you're sitting, you're sitting in, I don't know, say you're sitting in London, your kid's at school, you really love exams and you really love that your kid comes home and they can say you know i'm exceeding because you know i got tested and i'm sitting above national standards don't don't even think you should come to green school <laughs> Honestly, I do hear this about, I have, I, I hear it actually too much, I think. I have parents that come and they'll say, and you'll hear them chatting and they're like, you know, but I want to know, so where does my child sit in the standards and, you know, um, how are they doing in maths and why haven't I got, um, uh, you know, why do they not get A, Bs and Cs and how do I not, I know in New Zealand you had this, you had this chart and literally your child had to sit within this tiny bit for their age <laughs> and my poor dyslexic child who you know this was here and this tiny bit that she had to fit in here you know she'd come home and she'd say you know or we'd have parent teacher interviews and they'd say oh well she's not meeting national standards fake national standards <laughs> I used to be like freaking hate them and so my poor child that just then thought she was instantly useless at reading because she did not meet where they told her to meet but if you are a parent that wants that then this is not the school for you this is not right for you because and they don't do that excessively I have no idea outside of seeing where my how my kid oh, interacts at home in the projects that she brings home and see or <clears throat> whatever he's doing I don't know I don't want to know I don't care that they're if, what box they fit in I don't want them to fit in a box I just want them to be themselves and know that that's okay okay so the other thing I'd say is that I've had challenges with because I have to be being super real with you guys and I have to think I kind of have to dig deep when I think about what I don't love about the green school because there is so much that I do love but you know I've been involved in um, organizing things and I think in terms of getting shit done and green school is potentially hard you know you feel like oh you're in Bali you're at the green school you're at a private school there should be not much red tape there's that beautiful Bali noise. Scooter noise. It's either scooter, dogs, or chickens. That's normally what you'll hear in any of my videos. Um, and so, yeah, it feels like there's actually quite a lot of red tape. You know, if you want to get something done, it feels like it's a bit like pushing shit uphill. Which is, if you don't know that saying, it's a little challenging. So I just feel like sometimes to organize things, it can take a wee while. And it's probably not as quick as I thought things would be. I kind of thought, okay, let's do this. Okay, done. The next day. Why not? Why not? 
Okay, I've actually thought of something pretty important for you guys. Um, do you know what the, the one of the negs, of course, to um, Green School is this whole visa situation. It's pretty tricky, the visa situation. No one really wants to talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it briefly. Um, do you know what? It's so hard. So you can get Keters, which is like a long-term visa, you can just stay in Bali. So you can get a Keter for the children at Green School, but as a parent, you get a visa that you do need to leave the country. So, <laughs> scooter in. Hey, it wouldn't be Bali if we didn't have scooters, and we love that. Um, and do you know what? And yeah, well, you have to leave the country because your visa, you might get, say, a 90-day visa, and then you've got to leave the country, or you can get it extended. It's You are time limited, so at some point during your time in Bali, on the visa that you come into Bali with, and on the visa that you come into the Green School with, you would need to leave Bali within your year of coming, which works fine for most families. And, I, you know, I've, it works fine for us. My children have a Keter. I do not have a Keter. And because we leave, you know, we want to go to Singapore or we want to go away or we need to go back home or something for a little bit. So it works fine. But I do think in terms of how the Green School supports you with your visa, I think it's a little lacking because... I get it, there's not a lot they can do, but I think you're bringing all these families to Bali, and lots of us like us that were really for the Green School, and there's not a lot, you know, there's not a family keto or a parent keto where they're saying, okay, you can't work here, but of course you need to be here to support your children at school here. So I feel like there needs to be some work done there because it's just, just something that all the parents here kind of, it's, it's a problem point right and I don't know like if you say well what can the green school do I don't know I don't have the answers for these things I'm just telling you the issue the issue is that I think it's not really like okay yeah the visa situation is a bit complicated and we can I don't know I don't know what the green school can do but I just feel like it's a little bit of a point that there's not a massive amount of support and it's something that parents find really challenging here because you know we don't all have bottomless pits in our pockets or money growing on trees that we can just keep leaving the country and coming back in so it's a little bit of a tough point so guys thanks for watching and i hope that was a real good insight the good the bad the ugly all the insights into what it's really like at the green school so you never know we might see you here one day otherwise thanks for watching Boing.